So I was looking on my YouTube studio and found out that I have a comment. Can you do a video uh, to get Bedrock server on Raspberry Pi? So after turning on the music, let's do it. So on Raspberry Pi, the official utility doesn't work. So we'll, we'll use other things. So first we'll download Geyser MC. Uh, it will help us to host our paper server to our mobile friends or in general Bedrock. Uh, now let's just download the Spigot version because if you are running paper, of course. So now let's keep and okay in install java really quickly uh just so the opt install open gdk 17 gdk and uh, now okay i'll remove the official tool because it doesn't work paper uh let's take just in case server and yeah paper mc now let's download the latest version download and let's wait a little bit it won't take a lot okay now keep again because why not and that's all well for the downloads now let's okay i opened the jar file by accident and let's go to install it just run well first I will create some folders move it I'll create a folder called mineserv move the files there and then geyser I will move it to plugins so it's already like pre-installed now let's type java jar uh, minus jar uh, paper 19 uh, let's wait for the EULA file to create let's set it to true and now we'll have to also go to server properties to change the online mode to offline well to, uh, from to true to false really uh, false yeah and uh, the only thing that's left now it's run the server again mm, and wait for geyser to load when it's fully load and you can run some commands now we'll download also ngrock as you can see it loaded while i was searching for ngrock okay now let's close the server uh, or yeah um, well first let's download ngrock uh, download yeah well I'm sure that you will know how to set it up it's just download the uh, well for your architecture download and just copy this command to un unpack it. Uh, also, you can unpack it in the Explorer app, so uh, if you don't want to use the terminal. So let's check. Okay, I stopped the server. Uh, and let's go to plugins, Gazer, and config. So what I'm doing now, if you don't have a official well, to use Geyser, you will need a like Java version license also. So to to change it, uh, you just uh, type where it says online. You type offline, and then you won't need to buy a Java version also. Uh, and that's all really. Also, it has a floodgate option, but since I don't even know what that plugin does, uh, yeah, it's for a plugin. I searched that, uh, searched it up. So yeah. Uh, anyways, 
now let's un extract ng rock and that's all yeah that's all for this guide uh, it was really easy really uh, i hope i hope you liked it see you next time i forgot to add so these are the addresses that you will need to type in ng rock uh, to like play in multiplayer with like non-local network uh, or you can use um, zero tier or any other app of this type but in ng rock the for bedrock the port is 19132 and for java 25565 and now yes now finally thank you for watching see you next time